Hey, this is Chris with MyWebsiteAdvisor.com. Uh, welcome to our video. Today I'm going to be briefly explaining how to go about setting up a new plugin we're releasing. Uh, it's the Tweet Manager plugin. Uh, what this does is it creates an interface, uh, creates an interface to a Twitter application that we'll be creating. Um, for example, if you go to one of my tweets. Uh, you'll notice it's got an embedded video and a picture here, but at the bottom it says via my website advisor tweet manager. Um, and if you click on it, it takes you uh, right to our website to that page uh, for the for this plugin for this piece of software. Um, so what this is doing is it's creating a, an interface from our WordPress to our Twitter application, and then we hook up that Twitter application to my Twitter account, and then it allows me to directly post stuff right from uh, right from our WordPress blog, um, where we have this tweet manager here, uh, with this tweet manager plugin, it allows us to post that right onto our Twitter account. So it saves you some time. You don't have to copy and paste your links and whatnot, and it gives you this cool, uh, this cool link to your back to your website or wherever you want to link that to. So an another website, another um, Twitter application similar to this. Uh, it's uh, an example here is hash WordPress. They, these guys retweet stuff about WordPress all day long. It's pretty cool, um, but they use Twitter feed. And Twitter feed, if you click on this, it's it's an application where you can plug in an RSS feed, and it'll post it right onto Twitter. Uh, so it's pretty cool. If you don't have our plugin, you could use this to accomplish basically the same thing. The only problem is you end up with a link to this third-party application, which is fine because Twitter feed is free. But we're going to show you today how to create your own, uh, create your own Twitter application using our plugin. So we have the Tweet Manager plugin. Uh, we're just about to release it. I'm just creating this video now. Uh, by the time you watch this video, you'll be able to download it for free on WordPress.org, and uh, it's going to be called the Tweet Manager plugin for WordPress. I do have a setup guide on our website uh, right here on the Tweet Manager page. It goes through all the features. We have a couple different versions. We have a, couple, a paid version and a free version. I have some screenshots of what it's going to look like. And then I have the setup. I have a whole bunch of screenshots on how to set up a Twitter application. It's a little bit involved. That's why I have the screenshots here, and that's why I'm making this video. And I do have a link right here. View the setup guide. Um, right on the, the plugin home page here. So um, since it's not set up yet, you have to click here to set up the Tweet Manager for WordPress. You'll notice we have to set up a Twitter application. It's got a link right here to the Twitter application developer page. Now I've already created some applications, but what we need to do is, for anyone who wants to use this plugin, is create a new application. Now you, obviously you need a Twitter account. When you get to the developers page, it's going to ask you to create a developer account. You just plug in your Twitter account um, credentials and it'll sign you up. It's real simple. Uh, but then basically you just put in the name of your application, the description, whatever you want that to be, the website. That's when you click on that link, the via My Website Advisor at the bottom. This is the link where it's going to go. So you can set that to whatever you want. Set it to your home page. Um, the next thing here is the callback URL. Now you're going to find that right here. Use this information when you create your Twitter application. The callback URL. This is used for the authentication. And you copy and paste this. And also you notice it's the same URL we're on right now. So this has to do with when you authenticate with Twitter to authenticate this application. So you would basically paste that information in there. Call it my app you know fill this stuff in I agree do that uh, once you save all that it's going to give you some information to take back here it's going to give you a consumer key and a consumer secret as you can see I've created my Twitter application and I'm copying and pasting the consumer key and the consumer secret. I'm going to copy and paste those uh, back to my the, the WordPress plugin administration screen. Uh, you can see I've, I've done that with the consumer key and the consumer secret. 
And um, so on this page here, you can see that we've got read and write access. This was not something that was done by default. I had to go to the settings page, the settings tab here. And right here, you change that to read and write access. And then update that. we didn't have write access the application wouldn't be able to post uh, you wouldn't be able to post anything to your Twitter account you would only be able to maybe do a search for example so you need that write permission um, and then basically just make sure that callback URL matches what it says it should match here so these three items the callback URL the consumer key and the consumer secret should match on your Twitter developer page uh, you don't have to worry about anything else and you save the Twitter application settings and if everything goes right now you should have this connect your Twitter account button now what this does is it gives you the permission screen like you've probably seen before if you've used Twitter for any amount of time now this is authenticating to your own Twitter application so we've created one for our company because we're trying to you know sell this uh, tweet manager software but you can create it for your website you know this doesn't have to say my website advisor this is going to say your name here um, and then you authorize this app it's going to take you back to your website this is why we have the callback URL it took you back here hey it says connection established click here to continue and now it says welcome Chris web advisor that's my Twitter name so it knows I've it's, I've authenticated if you go back to the Tweet Manager homepage, you'll notice that the setup links are now gone. Uh, it, it knows it, that you're authenticated, and uh, you're not going to have to go through this whole process, you know, every day when you want to tweet stuff. Uh, now you can simply go to your tweets here. I've saved a couple of tweets already. Um, you know, this works just like any post or page in WordPress. Uh, if you want to add a new one, you just add a new one and uh, save it and whatnot. But yeah, from this screen right here, you can simply press this button right here. Uh, the Tweet Manager for WordPress coming soon, I believe this is what that says. Yep, Tweet Manager WordPress plugin coming soon from my website advisor. Let's put some hashtags in here maybe. Update that. You can see you can send it from right here. Tweet Manager WordPress plugin. It's got the short links in there. It did one for that, my website advisor, and one for that Tweet Manager, I guess. And uh, if we go out, out to my Twitter page here, I'm assuming I should. The other feature that this uh, Tweet Manager has is the ability to read an RSS feed. So we have under the feed settings, we've plugged in mywebsiteadvisor.com slash feed. This is getting our blog feed. Uh, we don't have a lot of recent posts. Um, and then I'm putting in the keyword of WordPress here. So anytime we have WordPress, it's going to automatically tag that. And if I was to click on the tweet this button, it'll automatically tweet that article right onto my Twitter page. Related Items Manager plugin just released. Now if we we'll open that up, we can see it was posted via our custom Twitter application. Uh, so again, you can have it get any news articles off of an RSS feed uh, you can put in um, Google News search any new Google News search you do is going to have an RSS uh, URL that you can plug in here uh, I'll, I'll post some more information about how to do that on our website uh, probably in a blog article here shortly after we get this released um, but that's how the feed settings work and then we have the tweet the tweets custom post type you can manage the tweets just like any other post uh, you'll notice that you can uh, attach images however in this free version it currently does not support uh, posting uh, tweets with images attached that's something that's reserved for our um, 
premium versions currently. It possibly will be coming to the free version, but if that's something that you're interested in, uh, you can certainly buy the, the premium version. I think we have it on sale right now. Yep, $2 or $5, uh, or uh, if you look on our Facebook page, I think we have a 50% off coupon. So you can get the, the professional version of the Tweet Manager uh, for only a dollar. Um, pretty inexpensive for a pretty handy piece of software that's going to save you a whole heck of a lot of time and make you look uh, like you have uh, spent quite a bit of time and money uh, you know investing in uh, building a custom Twitter application um, so basically this is a a web startup in a box if you will um, you know I know there's companies out there that are charging money for this service right now so um, you can have it from us for free or for a dollar five dollars you know it's up to you uh, but check out this uh, this uh, WordPress plugin that we've released. It's uh, pretty powerful stuff, and I hope you like it. Again, this is Chris with MyWebsiteAdvisor.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, my handle on Twitter is at ChrisWebAdvisor. Also, I would recommend following my partner. Uh, his is at EricWebAdvisor website guru excuse me Eric website guru on Twitter uh, you can find that uh, all those um, links on our website under links um, we have a developer profile on wordpress.org we have a Facebook we have a couple Twitters we have a YouTube channel please visit and most importantly subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter thank you very much have a great day